Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video I will be showing you how to install Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2024 in VMware. First off you're going to want to go to this link that is in the description and register a Microsoft account and download the ISO for this. So it is right here. Now I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to open up VMware. And you want to create a new virtual machine using ISO image. You can go over here, double click the ISO, hit next, and you can name the VM whatever you want. I'm going to name it Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC to a to four. That is what I'm going to name it. And you can change the location. So, like, if you wanted to install this on a hard disk, for instance, so I do have a hard drive in here. I can just go over here, create a new folder, and this is where the VM will be. Just to show you how much faster this is, I will install it onto a hard drive. So that is a hard drive. And you can you set a password because of the TPM. Um, I'm just gonna use a very simple password. Shoot. There. And you can make this whatever you want, but 64 gigs of storage should be enough for LTSC. Um as you can see, it recommends that I use 4 gigs, but I am going to use 8 gigs. And I'm also going to give this 4 cores instead of 2 cores. And it will create the disk. And just like that, the VM is spinning up. And you want to press space so that you can actually boot from the disk, which I do not do, so I'll have to restart guest. So you just go to virtual machine and restart guest. Restart. You want to click in the virtual machine so then you can press any key. And you can select a language. US and US is fine. Agree to that. Accept the license terms. Install click the VMware disk, so it's that one. Install. And the VM will restart. And it will continue installing. And now you're in the setup. Just like that. Yeah. 
and of course you don't have to sign into a Microsoft account. Just click sign in options, domain join instead, and you can use any name you want. Choose a password. And you can leave this on or off. It depends on what you want to do, but I never turn any of this on. And now it will download updates. And just like that, the setup is almost done, and you should be right on the desktop. And now, Windows 11 is fully installed. As you can see, we can do Windows key and R. Actually, I lied can't do that on here but what you can do is open up settings and go to about and you can see that this is Windows 11 IoT Enterprise Edition Thank you, and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.